Unfortunately, my uh, recent car boot sale visits haven't been that great. Uh, the weather's been terrible, so that's been uh, affecting it. Uh, not many people going at all, especially when it's pissing down, no one goes altogether. Uh, so the last couple of weeks I have picked up a few games, and uh, the first one is Brutal Legend for the PlayStation 3. Uh, this has the voices of Jack Black, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, and Tim Curry, I think. Uh, a fantasy kind of beat em up in a third person view uh, not played it yet so I've heard good things about it so I'll, I'll crack on with that one day uh, next up is Little Big Planet Karting um, seems to be quite popular on eBay at the moment uh, again never played it but it kind of looks good uh, maybe Maybe a competitor Mario Kart, I don't know, but uh, again, another one to have a look into one day. Hopefully it's good, because I like karting games. The third game is a DS title. Now, I th when I picked this up, I thought it was just some kind of really bad knockoff, but uh, on the front, on the side, it has actually got a reflective foil. So I thought, oh, maybe it is genuine. But I don't know much about these. It's got a good a good sticker on the front of the cart. And uh, on the back, it does have the Nintendo uh, logo on the back. So I'm not sure about this. There's Upon Googling it, there's loads of these uh, multi multi-cart like this is a 61 in one I think there's a 200 and something in one and so on uh, but it has uh, Mario and Sonic the Olympic Games um, some other crap on there that no one's really interested in Miami Knights Sonic Rush Adventure um, Mario Party DS Ferrari Challenge New Super Mario Brothers and Mario Kart um, a lot of stuff I've never heard of, so I'm guessing it's all just fillers. I mean, there's some there. There's Bomberman, Scooby-Doo, Brain Age. I don't know why you'd want that on a compilation, really. Um, Power Rangers and Contra 4. So I'll have to have a look into that one, but not got a clue. Um, I bought those... The last three there as a bundle it was uh, three for five pounds so i don't think that's bad i think brutal legend um goes for under a tenner anyway so does a uh, little big planet karting and i don't know about the ds one but for a fiver i thought that's pretty good deal uh, and of course uh, as recently i've recently put up is crazy frog racer 2 which is a complete waste of time 50p though so whatever um, and the weekend just gone I managed to find uh, Disney's Tarzan for the Game Boy Color which is a, a side-scrolling platform game uh, again I have never played but I will do at some point so hopefully that's a good game so I like platform games and Batman for the Game Boy I have played this many years ago, probably when it was released actually, so <laughs> we're looking about 30 years ago, and uh, I remember it being a good game back then, uh, looking at video footage, it, it still looks like a good game, like a action platformer, um, so I'm glad to have that, that cost £2.50, um, and so did Tarzan. Uh, I also got uh, Professor Layton's the Lost Future or something like that. There's so many different titles for the same game. Um, I can't remember which one it is. Uh, there's an Unwound Future or whatever it is. I think I've already got it, but under a different title. So uh, when I unpack all my stuff in the next couple of weeks, I'll probably find out that I have actually already got it. Um, the last thing I found uh, the weekend was the Call of Duty power bank uh, I don't think it's ever been used this came with uh, a season pass uh, this is the Wo World War 2 version so it's, I think it's quite 
modern. Well, 2017 it says on the back, so well, I'm four years old. But um, for two quid, thought why not? Bit of Call of Duty stuff. Um, and that was it. That was as good as it gets um, because of the likes of eBay and Facebook Marketplace and other sites like Spock and whatever. Uh, finding games out in the wild is pretty hard now. So to find something like a Game Boy game was pretty good uh, and I'm happy with that. Uh, but after there I went to CEX to see if I could find any treasures and the only thing I came away with was Uncharted for the PS3 which I have already got but unfortunately I've got the platinum version which is a complete load of shite I hate the yellow border on them I don't know if anyone else feels the same but I can't stand it and I've always wanted the the original copy and for £2 why not and it's um, pretty good condition unfortunately CEX do put the stupid stickers all over the manual which annoys me um, I think they used to put them on the barcodes inside the cover as well which really pissed me off because uh, they're a nightmare to get off but now they stick them on the front so all good that's it no more and judging by the weather for the next few weeks I don't think I'll be going to one and again for god knows how long um, but hopefully the weather brightens up and I can find something decent uh, but until then that's it